What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Titans Online User Franchise and we're having another, I believe, playoff rematch against a division rival, this time the Houston Texans, in Week 2. And obviously Week 1 was a great matchup. This one probably on paper looks like another great one. You can see here we did trade Conklin. The contract situation was getting a little dire. And, uh, well, the salary cap situation was getting a little dire. And he was getting on the older side. We got a second and a third for him, which I think is pretty fair. At some point, Marpet could slide over to right tackle. Depends on how Hardison plays. And then looking at players of the week. Great. Just exactly what you want to see on the AFC side if you're us. David Wright with an upgrade. Of course, Hardison. Was it Hardison? Who had the upgrade before? I think it was Frost, actually. Dave Wright, he's getting pretty damn good. And you can see here, we are playing a nighttime game. And you know we love our nighttime. Who doesn't like a nighttime game? I like the weather games and the nighttime games. Even the rain. I want some sort of variety. I like the way this atmosphere looks. And you're probably thinking that when this video is uploaded, you're like... Ooh, probably only one video today, and yeah, it is, because I don't know why. I just feel, like, absolutely tired. Hopefully, I'm not getting, like, sick or something, but I just feel drained today. And I actually slept for a decent bit. I actually feel like I slept well. It just, I don't know. I just feel, like, dead tired today. I'm thinking about doing a stream tomorrow. Don't quote me on it, because, like I said, this could be the start of some some sickness. And uh, it's not the Rona. <laughs> but, ooh, Watson's hurt again. Just like in the playoff game. But I'm thinking, of course, if I'm not feeling, you know, I'm feeling all right tomorrow, I think we'll do a rebuild stream at like 9 p.m. Central. Uh, but for sure, no matter what, tomorrow we will have two videos. And I think I want to start a new series tomorrow, which is, is going to be interesting because uh, I have not, of course, recorded it yet. So, yeah, it's not going to be something like super, like it could do well on the channel oh my lord look at the running back wide open luckily batson caught it because that was a misread uh, it could do super well but it's not like super super unique but it, it, it could be kind of fun to watch we'll i mean we'll see we'll see and ronald jones jesus speaking of fun to watch that man is fun to watch even when he's in the showers uh, uh going over the playbook third and four after you know a couple of decent little stab plays speaking of stab that was an amazing catch, considering he could have been blown up by the safety there. Johnny Smith with a touchdown. Travis, player of the week over here, gets about nine. It's now second and one for the 34-yard line. Up the middle, Travis, another decent gain, and this time it is enough for the first down. First and ten from the 40, Eckler. Not as much success, actually loses a yard. And of course, you can see Derek Carr, I believe, is his quarterback for relief. Terrible throw, but... Honestly, with our guys' close down speed, I think uh, that was probably a good thing for him. Third and 11, sacked by Landry. That's not a good thing for him. No arguments on that one. That one you can't argue here inside. Look at Ronald Jones just barely slipping away. And guess what? He gains the first down. First and 10. Going to run it again, and he's going to get some room again. He's going to follow those blocks and get just about 15 yards. First down. First down. Let's see what he gets on this one. No, it's a play action. Stepping up and right into J.J. Watt. Of course, we said disregard. Not because I think we should disregard him. It's just because what can you really do? And here, of course, I've been trying not to possession as much because we're trying to limit that in the league because it is, like, super OP. And it cost me there because, obviously, possession that easy first down. Instead, it's a drop because he got hit stick. And we hit the punt, basically, because Ronald Jones obviously isn't going to get 17 yards consistently. He got a decent bit of them, and he tried. Now his tight ends hurt. Interesting. It seems nothing can go right for Anton when he plays against us. We hurt every single player on his team, always. First and 10, going to be a coverage sack by Jeffrey Simmons. Those are the difference-making type plays that just change the game. You can see, I mean, maybe he would... Never mind. <laughs> Second and 27 turned into a third and short. Of course, Warren here with a shoulder tear. I'm not sure how big that is for him, but he was a starter, so I imagine quite large. Third and four converted by quite a bit. So forget anything I was going to say. Jeffrey, you did well, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day. A lot of uh, quick little plays that we just need to jump on at a faster rate because right now we're just getting gashed on these. Uh, you know, Travis, another 10-yard gain. Both defenses not doing super well so far here. We're just sick of it. We run commit. We still give up a yard, I believe. Here, play action. Look, we bring the house. 
outside look. He is going to get another first down. This time down, I don't even know who the hell that is. It's like Darren Fells or something. And here, Travis. Uh, it's not Travis, it's actually Austin Eckler loses a yard. Anytime Eckler's in, it's a loss. And here, look at that close down. Was that, it had to be Gilbert. There's only one man on this team that could do something like that. Third and goal from the one. It's going to be a false start. That is a game-changing penalty. Unless you're going against us who like to choke it. I don't know why our other guy didn't step up. Gilbert tries to make the play yet again. This time just an inch off. And looking for someone open. We get the throw. Oh, my Lord. The beauty. An absolute dot by Mariota. Corey Davis bounces out of bounds to the 41. Here, nowhere to go for Ronald. Still fighting, but actually loses three yards, which... That means you know that he done's made a good play because he doesn't lose yards often. Mariota second and 13 from the 44. Going to slide early. Get in range. I mean, it's a field goal as long as you don't take a sack. Or it's a first down if you throw a dime to Batson. We took the hit stick on the possession catch anyways, but we still hold on. And here, a fumble. J.J. Watt with, I believe, his second sack of the game. He is now in the zone. From the 15-yard line outside, Batson gets about 11 there. From the four, third and inches, got to get this first down or the score. He makes the right call, but everyone converges the inside, and that's where we're the strongest on our offensive line. Ronald bounces it out, outruns a guy, and we regain the seven-point lead. Travis to start out this drive here right before half. Zimenez with a monster run up the middle just smashes him and speaking of smashing people how is that not grounding how does he even get the ball away that's like a sack nine times out of ten unfortunately apparently this was that uh that tenth time uh Derek Carr on the inside really good throw gets the first down from the 40 50 seconds left quick throw really is not going to do much for him he's going to have to call a timeout Second and 10 from the 40. If you can even just get three here, this would be huge for him. And throw to the tight end. Gets the first. Now down to the 37-yard line. 41 seconds left. One timeout remaining. And uh-oh, he might have a look here. And he barely it gets overthrown. That is a very close call there. I think that's a touchdown if he hits that throw. Second and 10 from the 37. Here's another throwaway. I really wish we could just dive and finish these sacks. Come on now. Finish these sacks, yeah? Okay. Uh, third and 10. Nice curl route. Perfect throw. Perfect timing play. Hopkins gets the 15-yarder. No timeouts left. Our camera view gets messed up. He's going to throw it to the outside, and he's going to be stuck in bounds to the 15. He will get the spike off. So four seconds left, and he's going to try to get a field goal. We're just drunk with these camera angles. What are we doing at this point? We're going to be in player lock on the opposite side at some point. We fix it for the squib. Is it going to matter, though? Webster cannot do anything with it. So second half, we're only up by four. But I do believe we do get the ball here. And that is 100% true, thankfully. We desperately needed that. We start the ball at the 25-yard line. And Ronald Jones is going to take advantage of what he gets in front of him which has been pretty decent today both sides really uh for both teams blocking anyways even though our d-line should be doing way better than they are ronald bouncing it out hard hurts anthony Barr. when do you see something like that happen ronald's just a monster second and three is that simple getting all the way down to the uh 45 yard line that's a good 10 yard gain first and 10 now from the 45 yard line looking for somebody open and look at who is open. Batson having a pretty decent game. Mariota, very accurate game. Not super high in the yardage department, but that's what happens. Oh my. Batson. That is a god tier A elite throw that you just wasted because you robbed a wide open player who didn't touch out of bounds first. You've got to be kidding me. And over here, insta-sack by uh, Trey Hendrickson. Yeah, we kind of got bullcrap there. Batson, he knew he stepped out of bounds, yet he comes back to the ball that isn't even intended for him. Obviously, it's not. And he steals it illegally. And instead of a touchdown, of course, we're, <laughs> we only get a field goal. And here, another situation. One one of the pick, the other one of the swat. That one I can accept because, you know, you're not always aware of who's around you but geez that touchdown I cannot get over Batson really really choked it 
Here though, fourth and two, coming with the major blitz. Somehow it's perfectly picked up. We have the numbers and thankfully the ball is overthrown by Watson who returns. I'm just saying, that's Carr. I feel like he probably converts that. I'm just saying. And here, look at that throw by Mariota. Look at Batson all the way down to the four trying to redeem himself, but really it's kind of impossible to because he can't get us an extra possession. He doesn't play defense. Uh, first and goal from the four. Tough throw, can't really blame him, but that would have been a sick one to convert. Second and goal from the four-yard line. Ronald Jones fighting hard, still bouncing, bouncing all the way down to the one. Two minutes left in the third, almost the fourth quarter, and Webster gets the handoff, and he will spike it down with authority as we gain a 14-point lead. Still a lot left in this game, though, and here's the pressure. I once again do not understand, don't understand how some of these haven't been like sack fumbles or whatnot. And Watson, whew. We did have Gilbert, and he probably would have caught him because Gilbert is a speed demon, but really good play by Adori, I believe, on that one. Third and 10 from the 43, looking for the stop. And inside, we've been getting burned on those all day. The pass rush, considering how good it is compared to his offensive line, kind of underperforming a little bit. Really need something to happen. There goes Harold with a late hit. But it doesn't even matter anyways because QT over top just barely outruns Hooker. Hooker tried to dive and swat it, just could not get it. There goes Ronald Jones after a failed run on first down. He gains 10 on second and 9. First and 10, out route look. Corey Davis gets the catch, and that will give us a first down at the 50. Last play before the 4th. Looking for somebody open, getting a pretty clean uh, pocket. We did back up quite a bit into heavy pressure very debatable could have been picked uh, but of course Johnny was open just could not get the throw in here gotta be more patient than that Ronald you know he does what he does but sometimes you know no one's perfect and that unfortunately was one of those situations and speaking of no one's perfect his user left Tylen Wallace wide open the worst time possible is a third down you know complete game changer type play we get the touchdown instead of him you know, should have been probably an easy stop. Look at this throw, by the way. How in the world, Watson, he goes from missing an easy throw that's a game changer to how do you hit that type throw into, like, double, triple coverage. I don't even know. Really good play, though. And, the you know, the game's still alive. And here over the middle, he's got his man, the backup tight end, who is now forces the starter, probably long-term for him. First and 10 from the 15. Eckler bouncing and hard. Gets about, what, 11 yards there. First and goal, six minutes left. Watson over the middle, just barely misses the first down. First and ten from second and goal situation. I really thought Thompson had a chance to pick that. Didn't, and it will be a touchdown. We are only up by three now. Ronald trying to bounce it, and he actually you know, loses three yards. So second and 13 from the 17. Mariota looking for someone open. Can he find anyone? You can see Corey Davis, I believe, there. Can you trust it? Probably should have as we almost just choked the game away on that throw. Third and 19 or third and 13 from the 17. There you go, Janu. The man we can depend on. Huge hit though. Thankfully he didn't fumble. Four minutes left. Going to try to tote the rock. Look at Webster bouncing around. Webster, one guy to beat. It's JJ Watt and Webster with the craziest run from a rookie all season long, I believe. And he goes for the selfless act of going down early. We waste two of his timeouts. And now number three, the field goal will put us up by 10. No timeouts. Three minutes left. There's still a chance. And we would look so stupid if we choked this game away. But felt like it was the best uh, idea long term. And we're going to see if it you know, comes to play. Because he obviously has to make a crazy drive happen. And here, just not even close on that one from Watson. 224 left in the game. Second and 10. Watson backing up. Little chip shot underneath. QT gets out of bounds after a gain of about six. Not a bad play at all. He needs a few more of those, though. Third and four to the outside. Really good swap by Gilbert, who is just such a hard player to read. Fourth and four. Looking for somebody open in there. I think the pressure finally got to him a bit in a key situation. And Hooker comes up with the pick. Which, of course, probably will win us the game. Ronald Jones makes sure of it, though. Gets the first down. Probably could have had more, but, of course, don't want to run up the score. What a game. 
GG to Anton. A couple of really unfortunate things happened both sides in that game. I mean, you could probably tally it up and see who got more unlucky. I really don't care, to be honest, because, of course, we did enough, and, you know, we, we looked we looked pretty good. Of course, we had to play against Carr half the game, which definitely is a bit of a game changer. Watson with that escape artist is something you just cannot account for. And uh, ultimately, stats very similar. You can definitely see it looks like we had that extra possession that would have, you know, that made the difference statistically. And ultimately, the defense, they just come up with takeaways. Just one, that's all you need sometimes, just one, a clutch one there. And here are the stats for the game. Once again, sorry about not having two videos up today. I like to have pretty much two videos up just about every single day that isn't a rebuild. But like I said, I feel, I feel a little off. But tomorrow we'll have two and maybe a stream at 9 at Central, like I said, p.m. Anyways, though, if you did enjoy, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Check out the second channel, P. Care Plays. And hey, maybe even check out the Twitch. Follow that, Jerome P. Care. Anyways, though, until next video or potentially stream.